Hi, my name is Rafia and I am a speech and language therapist. So I support children with language and learning needs. I am also a clinical researcher exploring digital therapy through co-design with service users. And it is this clinical digital element of my role which drew me to become a member of the Faculty of Clinical Informatics. The FCI is the multidisciplinary professional body for all UK health and social care qualified individuals who have a core technological element to their role. I'm also a member of the Shuri Network, which is the first NHS and care network for women of colour in digital health and their allies. And hopefully it's self-explanatory why I'm a member of this network. Today, I'd like to introduce a joint initiative between the Shuri Network and the FCI. Applications are currently open for FCI membership and will continue to be open until the 7th of September. And for the first time, the Shuri Network will be providing a bursary to 15 of its members to cover the cost of one year's membership to the FCI. To find out more about the application process, please follow the links that complement this video. To find out more about the value of the FCI, the value of the Shuri Network, and of course the value of this very special collaboration, I would like to hand over to three special speakers. The first is Jonathan Kay, who is FCI Chair. The second is Yinka McKinder, who is an FCI Trustee and a Shuri Network member. And last but not least, Aisha Rahim, who is an FCI member and a Shuri Network Steering Group member. Enjoy. Hello, I'm Jonathan Kay, and I'm Chair of the Council of the Faculty of Clinical Informatics. The Faculty is a new membership association that's going to bring together professionals from across the whole range of health and social care who want to develop their own careers and see information used better to manage the care of patients. We're delighted to be working with the Shuri Network. We've got two initiatives already, and we're sure that there's more to follow. The Shuri Network has come up with funding for bursaries to help members and fellows join the faculty. And the network's also helping us in the faculty in our own review of diversity and equality. Why does this matter? Well, of course, it's a matter of fairness, but it isn't only that. Without getting access to the talents of women of color, we're not going to be able to improve the management information. And without that, we won't be able to improve the management of patients. Hello, my name is Yinka McKinde and I'm the Head of Innovation at NHSX. Now I am both a trustee of the FCI and a member of the Shuri Network and have been for just under a year. And the motivation for me to join both of these was to be in a position of being able to contribute to and influence the diversity agenda in health tech. Now there are synergies between these two bodies. So the Shuri Network thrives in creating a platform for women of color in tech in particular and navigating them to opportunities and mentors. And it does a phenomenal job in that regard. But by linking up with the FCI, it is now able to ensure that from, a, from an academic and professional perspective, its members can also access accredited courses and professionalised career path. And so why apply? Well, if you are a clinician, and that can be a medic, a nurse, or an allied health professional, and I do wanna give a call out to allied health professionals in particular, um, I used to be one, I used to be a pharmacist, and I know that throughout my time at Digital Health London um, as Programme Director, there was always a shortage of both allied health professionals and nurses who were accessing these types of opportunities. So, so if you are a clinician, any clinician, um, this opportunity does give you access to education and training. And it also gives you the opportunity to become part of a, a much broader network of like-minded clinicians 
with a passion for tech and informatics. So do apply and I wish you all the best. Thank you. Hi, my name's Aisha Rahim and I'm a consultant psychiatrist and I'm also Chief Clinical Information Officer at my organisation, which is Lancashire and South Cumbria NHS Trust. I joined the FCI some time ago because I realised that for other aspects to my role, my clinical role, for example, I'm part of different professional bodies, such as the Royal College of Psychiatrists. And what that body allows me to do is to develop myself professionally and to further my learning, for example. Because clinical informatics is such a relatively new and emerging profession, I felt it'd be really important to join a similar kind of body to give my sense of professional identity, but also to further my knowledge in that field. In the same way, it's really important to be able to link in with other people outside of my organisation that have that similar interest, because particularly with digital health, because it's so new, it's really important to stay abreast of what's happening and to share best practice outside of your own immediate organisation. So joining the FCI has allowed me to do all of those things. And in some ways, it's similar to the Shuri Network, which is, of course, a network that supports BAME women in the digital health space. And what I found invaluable from the Shuri Network is a network of colleagues that has a similar background to me that may face similar challenges to the challenges that I faced in my role as a BAME woman. So I think there's some really good synergy between the FCI and the Shuri Network. So I would really encourage people to apply for the FCI bursary via the Shuri Network. And hopefully you'll be able to make best use of all the resources that are available via the FCI and also the Shuri Network in terms of learning, in terms of professional development, but also in terms of the connections that you'll make with other people and that networking that really enhances your own confidence and your own ability to lead in this space.